Hello and welcome back to iTunes. So till now we have looked about SAS, right? I mean the shared access signature and we have also seen the session on course that is cross origin resource service. In this session we are going to look about storage analytics. Right? So what is storage analytics and what are the billing concepts? Those are the things that we are going to cover in this session. Right? These are the concepts that we would uh, we should be aware of before we move to the storage security that's why i wanted to have these sort of sessions uh, so that we are clear on that yeah great so i'll, I'll see you in the session but before that please uh, do subscribe to the channel and click on the thumbs icon thumbs up icon for liking the video also feel free to share this video with your friends and colleagues right great i'll see you in the session thank you So in this session, we are going to talk about another concept uh, uh, that is used uh, when we when we talk about uh, storage uh, security, right? That is called as storage analytics. Now, Azure Storage Analytics performs logging and provides me metrics data for the storage account. You can use this data to trace requests, analyze use usage trends, and diagnose issues with your storage accounts. To use storage analytics, you must enable it individually for each service you want to monitor. You can enable it from the Azure portals, right? You can also enable storage analytics programmatically via the REST API or the client library, right? Great. So the aggregated data that is stored in a well-known blob uh, and in well-known tables which can be assessed using the blob service and table service API. So in the blob, the, the data will be for logging and in the tables, the data will be for metrics, right? Storage analytics have a 20 TB limit on the amount of stored data that is independent of the total limit of the storage account, right? So for, uh, for the billing purpose uh, for storage analytics, let's take a moment and discuss about the uh, the the data which is uh, required. So all metrics data is written by the service of a storage account. As a result, each write operations performed by storage analytics is billable. Additionally, the amount of data used by metrics data is also billable. The following actions performed by storage analytics are billable, such as requests to create blobs for logging, requests to create table entries for metrics. Now, if you have configured a data retention policy, you're not charged to delete transactions when storage analytics deletes old logging and metrics data. However, delete transactions from a client are billable. Yeah. So these are the concepts that we need to be uh, clear of uh, about the billing, right? Now, let's understand what are the billable requests. Every request made to a storage account is either billable or non-billable. Storage analytics logs each individual request made to a service, including a status message that indicates how the request was handled. Similarly, storage analytics stores metrics for data in a service and API operation for that service, including the percentage and count of certain status messages. Together, these features can help you analyze your billable requests, make improvement on your applications, and diagnose issues with requests to the services. All right. So, if you want to have uh, need to have uh, know some more information about it, then you can actually go through this particular link. It's this all this uh, data is actually from the Microsoft's. Uh, a site uh, and Microsoft is really doing great in providing these documents and it is all up to date right so when looking on storage analytics data you can use the tables in storage analytics log operations and status messages you can look on those topics to determine what requests are billable 
then you can compare your logs and metrics data to the status messages to see if you were charged for a particular request. You can also use the tables in the previous topic to investigate availability of a shared service or individual API operations. Right. So this is one of the concepts which I wanted to discuss before we move on to uh, discussing about storage security. Right. Great. That's all I wanted to cover in this session. And I would see you in the next one where we are going to talk about the storage security. Right. Before that, do click on the subscribe icon and the bell icon to get notified uh, real time as soon as I upload the videos to the channel. And also feel free to share this video with your friends and colleagues. Uh, and also, I mean, uh, you can click on the thumbs icon. Uh, that will help me in motivating, providing the contents as soon as possible. All right. Great. Until next time, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.